Get your hot dogs here. Woohoo! Americans eat more than 9 billion hot dogs every year. Before putting the toppings on, first, you have to buy them. Here are the 10 best hot dogs to buy at the grocery store. Someone drove a hot dog shaped car through the window. Ekrick cheese. Huh? Hot dog with everything, ginger ale. Three? Same. Ekrick has been selling meat products since 1894, when Peter Ekrick opened a meat market in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The business grew steadily, and by 1932, Ekrick was selling his products all across America. The company sells a range of products, including deli meats, kielbasa, and hot dogs. Ekrick calls them Franks, as in Frankfurter, and it produces a cheese-filled version of this popular food that makes it one of the best hot dogs to buy at the grocery store. This hot dog is made from a combination of chicken, pork, and American cheese. This sounds like a delicious mix of flavors, but the cheese inside the hot dog might not be everyone's taste. Too exotic? The cheese adds some calories to the hot dog as well, but if you bought a package of these, you're probably all right with a hot dog's high caloric content. One of these franks contains 190 calories and 16 grams of fat. Like most hot dogs, this cheese-filled version can be cooked a number of ways, including boiling, grilling, and frying. So the particular method is just a matter of individual taste. Hot dogs are, of course, good without cheese, but it does add a bit of creamy goodness that many people love. Bar S. If you get nervous, just picture the audience naked and slide those hot dogs down your throat. Since 2006, the Bar S hot dog company has been touting itself as the number one manufacturer of this popular food based on the volume of hot dogs sold. The company must be doing something right. The Bar S logo originated in Seattle, Washington, and the S stands for Seattle. You might not think of Seattle as a hotbed for hot dogs, but Bar S is a beloved brand in the Pacific Northwest. This meat company sells a few varieties of hot dogs, including Classic, Jumbo, and Bun Length. Something for everyone. It also offers a red variety that uses red food coloring to give them a distinctive crimson hue. These red hot dogs are a popular choice in Maine and in some parts of New England and New York. Most people, however, enjoy the Bar S Classic Hot Dog, which is made with chicken and pork. Bar S also makes an all-beef hot dog that the company thinks is perfect for making chili dogs. But of course, you're free to make them any way you like. Whether you're a mustard person or a ketchup person, Bar S hot dogs will satisfy whenever that craving for a hot dog hits. Oscar Mayer Uncured. Come on, Ron, let's blow this hot dog stand. Even if you've never seen Oscar Mayer's Wienermobile roll down Main Street to entice everyone to eat more hot dogs, then you probably won't be surprised to learn this meat company is pretty passionate about making good tasting wieners. The story starts in the 19th century, when Oscar Mayer moved from Bavaria to America, where he was able to find work as a butcher's assistant. In 1883, Oscar and his brother had saved enough money to open their own meat shop in Chicago, where they developed a reputation for selling quality meat products. There ain't a better hot dog in America. Some people might think of bologna and other lunch meats like ham and olive loaf before they think of Oscar Mayer's hot dogs. But putting lunch meats aside for the moment, the company has come out with a number of hot dog varieties to appeal to different tastes. Oscar Myers offers cheese-filled hot dogs, Angus beef franks, and turkey uncured franks, just to name a few. Many people believe their classic Oscar Mayer wiener is still the best version of the company's hot dog, but everyone has different tastes and can choose from the varieties. Oscar Mayer's original uncured wieners are a popular choice for hot dog lovers of all ages. You can get a jumbo package of wieners and have the whole family over for a cookout they'll always remember. Sabret Skinless. It's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. Sabret is a New York based company with a plant in the Bronx and is well known for its all beef skinless hot dogs, as well as a couple of other varieties. Sabret uses all natural spices, including garlic powder, paprika, and hickory smoked flavor. It also uses its own special curing procedure instead of the usual sodium nitrate curing process. This attention to flavor makes Sabret Skinless a good bet to seek out at the grocery store. Sabret is adamant that the company never uses any fillers or extenders to make its skinless hot dogs. These classic New York Frankfurters come in packages of 25, and each one is 140 calories and contains 12 grams of fat. No, I'm on a special diet. 
While these hot dogs don't exactly have health food type numbers, they're probably not as bad as many people assume they would be. If you can't get enough of Sabret's hot dogs, you can shop online at the company's merchandise page. You can find everything from hoodies and graphic tees to umbrellas displaying the Sabret colorful hot dog on a bun logo. If you still can't get enough of Sabret's hot dogs, you can rent a push cart or tabletop cart for parties and other special events. Do you want to be the hero of the cookout? Get a push cart full of Sabret hot dogs and you would certainly turn any gathering into a truly special event. Boar's Head Uncured Hey, this hot dog tastes different. As far as the people at Boar's Head are concerned, their uncured hot dogs are a delicacy. Boar's Head Frankfurters were founded in 1905 in Brooklyn, New York by an American of German descent named Frank Brunkhorst. He started using a family recipe that called for quality beef and a special blend of seasonings that is a closely guarded secret at Boar's Head. The Brunkhorst family is proud that it continues to run the business, and they're proud of their lasting success. The family has maintained the traditions and quality their founder instilled in Boar's Head from the beginning. Actually, it's a family business. The company recommends several ways to eat its hot dogs, including New York style, which has sauerkraut and mustard. The people at Boar's Head also recommend a Chicago style dog that includes a combination of white onions, sweet pickle relish, a dill pickle spear, tomato slices, bell peppers, and a dash of celery salt. Detroit style sounds good too, with a helping of chili sauce, raw onions, and mustard. Whether you like your hot dogs with all the fixings or just plain, Boar's Head Frankfurters have the quality and flavor to make any cookout or simple family dinner a success. Hebrew National You fired up the grill for one hot dog? This hot dog brand has been making uncured all-beef kosher frank since 1905. The company won't give up the details of its signature spice blend, but it will admit that kosher salt is an important ingredient. Unlike many hot dog brands, Hebrew National only uses meat from the front half of the cow, and then only the best parts at that for a truly premium hot dog. This fact alone makes Hebrew National one of the best hot dogs to buy at the grocery store. The company is proud of its kosher status and uses an independent certifying agency to help it maintain the highest standards of quality. So it's perfect? You can't go wrong with a grilled hot dog on a bun with your favorite toppings, but if you're looking for something a little different, Hebrew National has come up with several delicious looking recipe for its hot dogs. All of them look like they're worth trying, so you might have to buy several packages of these hot dogs. You can try everything bagel dogs, Korean beef frank lettuce wraps, or buffalo coleslaw stuffed franks. There's even a breakfast recipe that puts chunks of hot dog into waffles on a stick. This is a savory and sweet treat you can eat on the go. There are a lot of options to choose from, but most hot dog lovers will probably want to eat them the traditional way, with some ketchup and mustard. Nathan's Famous A hot dog, didn't see that one coming. Nathan's Famous is one of the iconic brands when it comes to hot dogs in America. Even if you don't eat a lot of these meaty treats, you've probably heard of Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. The televised event takes place on Coney Island every 4th of July and draws quite a crowd of hot dog enthusiasts. No need to get stressed though, because competitive eating isn't for everyone, and Nathan's Famous tastes just as good when you only want one. Or maybe two. A man named Nathan came up with the recipe for these all-beef franks more than a hundred years ago. Nathan's makes several varieties of frankfurters, including skinless, uncured, Angus, bun length, and the Colossal, which is an impressive quarter pound of beef. All normal people love meat. The basic beef hot dogs contains no fillers, byproducts, corn syrup, or artificial colors. The only spice listed in the ingredients is paprika, and the hot dogs do contain the usual sodium nitrate used for curing the meat. Once you've chosen your favorite Nathan's dog, you can check out the company's selection of buns and condiments. The list includes mustard, steak sauce, pickles, and New York cut sauerkraut. Nathan sells all the fixings, so you'll have everything you need for a delicious cookout. Ballpark Just a hot dog, then. I'm kind of picky about what I eat. Baseball and hot dogs are about as American as it gets, so it's fitting that ballpark brand hot dogs trace their lineage back to Detroit Tigers Stadium. In 1957, the brand became the official hot dog of the Tigers, and the stadium has been selling thousands of them at every game ever since. 
Ballpark hot dogs are uncured, which means they're made using a natural ingredient like vegetable powder instead of being made with the common curing process that uses sodium nitrate. The process takes a little longer than the usual curing process, and some experts say it's a bit healthier than the more common process. Is that what we're saying? However, Ballpark's classic hot dog flavor is one that goes hand in hand with baseball and summer fun. You don't need to love the Detroit Tigers or even baseball to eat Ballpark brand Franks, but it probably wouldn't hurt. Many people think hot dogs are best when cooked on a charcoal grill, where they can pick up those distinctive char marks we love to see. These mouth-watering treats are great with or without a bun, but you'll need a bun if you want to load up your ballpark frank with a pile of your favorite toppings. Then you'll be ready to play ball. Ginny O Turkey. Hello, is hot dog there? Maybe these aren't for hot dog purists because they're made from turkey, but Ginny O makes one of the best hot dogs to buy at a grocery store. Hot dogs made from turkey have about half the calories and fat of regular beef hot dogs. With four mm. grams of protein, these turkey franks have a little less than the beef and pork versions. However, you can have two Ginny O turkey hot dogs for a total of eight grams of protein and a relatively low 140 mm. calories. These numbers make these one of the best hot dogs to buy at the grocery store. The nutritional content of turkey hot dogs might be something to consider if you're eating regular hot dogs but looking to try a somewhat healthier alternative. I need health benefits. Turkey hot dogs can be a good way to get a little extra protein without getting the fat from the traditional beef and pork hot dogs. Each Ginny O turkey dog contains about 380 milligrams of sodium, which is about the average amount of salt you're going to find in a hot dog. If you like hot dogs but want a lighter option, Ginny O is a good choice. You can grill them or fry them in a pan and then smother them with your favorite toppings. Even though these hot dogs are made with turkey instead of beef and pork, your family might not even notice the difference, and that would be a win for everybody. Applegate Naturals Wow, hot dog times, huh? Applegate Naturals is a brand that is proud of the fact that it uses only grass-fed beef to make a variety of uncured meat products, including several varieties of hot dogs. The company also wants you to know that its hot dogs are also casein-free, gluten-free, and sugar-free. Now you know what they don't have, but let's see what they do have. Applegate Naturals are made from a recipe that includes a blend of spices that includes paprika, garlic, onion, and a little bit of cherry powder. Cultured celery powder is used for the drying process that removes bacteria from the meat, instead of the usual curing process that involves the chemical sodium nitrate. Is it better? Some people believe the vegetable powder method is an organic and healthier alternative to the standard curing process. However, others argue that using vegetable powder does not provide any health benefits. Regardless of the curing process used, Applegate Naturals Quality Beef makes them one of the best hot dogs to buy at the grocery store. At only 110 calories a dog, Applegate Naturals have fewer calories than most of the other beef hot dogs, and they still have 7 grams of protein. Unfortunately, at 500 grams, the sodium content is higher than many hot dogs, so you should keep this in mind if you're thinking about buying this brand. You may have made it to the end, but why stop now? Check out another great Babbletop video. Thanks!